With more than 300 exhibitors, Retech 2010 is one of the largest concentrations of clean energy technology under one roof. All of these clean energy technologies are brought together at the Washington Convention Center by the American Council on Renewable Energy, also known as ACOR. The goal? To help influence lawmakers and get financing for clean energy companies. We have a very strong constituency in the financial community. So the people that actually finance companies and projects are pulled here and tend to be active members of ACOR. The exhibits range from the recognizable to the innovative, like this portable wind turbine and this solar panel energy station on wheels ready for mobile applications. Construction sites, uh, music festivals, uh, movies, as you say, all of those are potential applications where whoever needs that mobile power, uh, you know, maybe wants it to be quieter, uh, especially, I guess, if you're on a movie set or a music festival, uh, and also has a concern for, uh, you know, the impact on the environment. So, you know, uh, a much better solution, we think, for an, for an awful lot of applications. Several countries are represented here, bringing with them their clean energy expertise. The conference is also about jobs. In one of the areas with the highest unemployment rates, Native American reservations are at Retech to tell the world they're open for business. And Indian lands have advantages other parts of the country don't. If they do come on to Indian lands, first off, they often don't have to pay property taxes, they don't have to pay sales taxes. Sometimes they can get away with not paying, I have to pay state taxes. It just depends on how the tribe is oriented. And this Volvo tractor made by their Mack truck division probably couldn't drive on the HOV lanes, but it is a hybrid. It's a diesel electric hybrid, uh, same similar technology to what's available in the Prius, obviously scaled up to a heavy duty application. The hybrid system assists the clean diesel engine. It has external power capability and saves up to 30% on fuel costs compared with non-hybrid models. Now for those of you who are going to sprint out to your local Mac dealership and pick one of these babies up for your wife for Valentine's Day, you're out of luck. They're not yet commercially available, although this particular truck is used by the Air Force every day. As for Retech 2010, it runs through Friday. In Washington, Lee Patrick Sullivan, Clean Skies News.